Hey, would you like to see how you can make a hold down clamp for your drill press? Here's all you need, just a few supplies. A metal bar, 1 8 by 3 quarter, a star knob, a nut, two washers, and an old bicycle tube. Now what I'm going to do first is this bolt, I'd like this washer to slide right down to the head of the bolt. So I'm going to take a file and just file away the end of this. Boy, I wish I could file this fast in reality. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that knob on the end so I can get that washer to slide down flush to the head. There we go. Now watch how I do this. I'll just take it and slip it on and it goes right down. That's perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this old piece of metal and I don't want the end of it. It has a hole drilled in there anyway. So I'm going to take my hacksaw and go back and forth at my superhuman speed. Remove this piece of metal. Go over to the disc sander and just take and round the edge so I won't get cut by a burr. And then I'll flip it over and do that on the back side. So both ends round it. I could do it with a file, but since I have this machine, it works really well. Remember to have eye cover here. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the hole larger so it will fit my 3 8 inch bolt. And then I'll take my orbital sander and take the rust and grime off of this bar. And I'll take a little bit of steel wool. Don't pull this too hard or you'll cut yourself. Go back and forth and get that thing burnished down to a shine. After I've done that, I'm going to take, and this is a mistake I made, watch, I'm going to put a little dog bend at the end. This didn't work and I ended up flattening it out again, so ignore that. But this longer bend, notice my seat clamp gives me the leverage I need to make this bend. And that's how it should look without the little bend at the end. You can see I removed the bend here. I'm going to take my bicycle tire tube. I'm going to cut it, open it up. There's some powder on the inside, so I won't use the inside. I want to put rubber on the end of this foot so it won't slip. Here's my CA glue and accelerator. I'll take the accelerator, spray a little bit on the end of this foot, and then I'll take and put my super glue on the rubber and push it down and hold for about 10 seconds. After I've done that, I can take it and flip it around and I'll take an X-Acto razor and very carefully, keeping my fingers away from the blade, cut around my metal leg and then I will have the end of this metal foot with rubber on it so it won't slip anywhere. After that's done, I'm about ready to go here. So now I'm going to take my pieces. First, I'm going to take and put my bolt and a washer on it. And I'm going to go through the hole I drilled. And then I'm going to take the nut and put it in the star handle. And I got that at Ace Hardware, by the way. I'm going to thread the bolt into the nut just like that and that's about all there is to it. I'm going to take this contraption over to my drill press and slide the washer underneath the groove cut in the table of my drill press. Put it into the selected position. Tighten it down really tight and I'm drilling in the metal here. I'm coming down and you can see it holds it down really well. Here's a warning for you. This works great on little pieces of wood, but if you're going to do metal, I only have one contact point with my clamp and that could catch and pivot and spin around. So I would advise you have two contact points. Make a second one of these for extra safety. I hope you give this a try. It's easy. You can do it in about an hour. Have a nice day.